It is so f cold today. <laughs> It's your boy, hello. How's it going, everybody? What? Why is it frozen? What? No, 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 no. Okay, okay, good, good. I, I, I was gonna say, it worked a second ago. The chat was back. It was back a second ago, and I was just like, don't you dare freeze on me now. But it looks like it's moving. It looks, it looks, looks like it's moving. Okay, we are so back. <laughs> we are so back. The chat is back. <laughs> All right, cool, cool and good. Mm. How's it going, everybody? Sorry about the last minute waiting room. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm a little bit scatterbrained. I've been all over the place. And uh, even though I might might have said I'm awake, that the, the awake part was true. It was very true, almost too true. Don't worry about it too much. Hey, today we're playing Firework, which is, I, I don't know what. From the screenshots, it looks 2D, but I don't know what engine it's built in, if it's RPG Maker, if it's something else. I think that, uh, like, according to OBS, it's made in Chromium, which I'm not entirely sure what it means, but hey. It works. <laughs> Not <laughs> baby, you're a firework. <laughs> yeah, I, I, it's called firework, so I made a Katy Perry joke in the title and in the description. It's a Chinese horror game, indeed. Yes, it is. I don't. I haven't played too many Chinese games on the channel, so I'm very interested to see how this is gonna go. And uh, since this. Like, I assume this takes place, like, we're, obviously we're gonna be meeting a lot of characters, and there's probably gonna be, a, like, quite a few Chinese names in here. And I, I'm just, I'm very sorry in advance, I am going 100% to butcher most of them. I am a stupid Swedish boy who doesn't know how to pronounce other languages. I am very sorry in advance. <laughs> oh boy, Miami. Hmm. But because we are playing a horror game with its roots in uh, China, I think I think that there's gonna be uh, quite quite a few listeners tuning in today that might like not speak English and like super super well, which is one hundred percent fine. But uh, yeah, if there's any translators in chat that wanna do like a live translation. That is 100% okay for the viewers that might have a hard time keeping uh, uh, up otherwise, so uh, no problem. No problem at all. Mm. 
before the movie, I butchered Hermione. Dude, don't worry about it. If you wanna- if you're ever worried about butchering the name Hermione, let, let, let me tell you this. The Swedish audiobooks for Harry Potter, they pronounce her name as Hermione. So you're fine. <laughs> I am not even joking. They say Hermione, so you're fine. <laughs> Wait, what? Yep, that, that's, that's exactly what... And even the DVD extras! Even the DVD extras on the official releases of the movies, which, by the way, are dubbed! And in the dub, they say Hermione, but on the extras, they say Hermione. Why? <laughs> Makes no sense. Where was I? Oh, yeah. Yeah, live translators, if... Uh, <laughs> sorry, I got so sidetracked. Live translators, if you want to do live translation of uh, any kind, then by all means, go right ahead. I'm sure there are some people in the chat that will 100% appreciate it. Yeah, I practiced this a little bit for... Uh, let me just uh, double check something real quick. Uh, one second. Let's see. How did I say this? Hmm. Okay. There we go. Okay. Bye. Uh, and uh, thank you for uh, thank you for the super chats coming in here. Meanwhile, the German version. <laughs> what did the German version say? Do Do I want to know? <laughs> You, you, usually th things when when it comes to German dubs can be a little bit cursed. I mean, I've seen the the German Naruto opening. That the that that seminal piece of art, right? That it is. They changed her name to Hermine or Herman. <laughs> really? The Russian version is all. all <laughs> Also a little bit funny. That's the things that happen with the localizations. It can get a little bit, a little bit quirky sometimes. But yeah, we're, we're, God, I keep getting sidetracked. Yeah, live translations, 100% okay. Thank you so much. And uh, how did I say this? I practiced this earlier. <laughs> I'm sorry for my incredibly butchered pronunciation, but I wanted to give my thanks. All right, without further ado, Let's go right into it. The game progress can be saved automatically or manually from the main. Ah, that was fast. The, char uh, the names of characters and locations in this game are fictitious. And he said, ah, okay. So this is not real. Ghosts relish devouring sins, possessing sinners crushing their bones to suck their marrows and imposing eternal suffering on them. Cool. <whistles> All right. Okay, so. Zheng Ming, I'm going to assume is how, how you say that. And if I say anything about these names that are Wrong pronunciation wise, just keep in mind, I'm a stupid Swedish boy. All right, let's see. <clears throat> this is just my luck. How did a perfectly functioning car break down all of a sudden? Oh god, how do I pronounce that? Lin Li Shun? Maybe? <laughs> Jang, the information, the, oh, the informant is still waiting in town. Do you want to leave the car here? There's no need to rush. Dealing with arson is not our responsibility. This is just great. My car broke down. Captain Lou will yell at me. Captain Lou seems like a nice person. You just transferred here, so you have no idea how Captain Lou is like. If she finds out the car had broken down, she will say, I told you to take good care of the cars, didn't I? If you're chasing after a dangerous gangster, what are you going to do if the car breaks down? Can you imagine the consequences? 
I'll try to fix the car. I'm good at this. All right, Jing. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> We're colleagues. No need to be so courteous with me. Ah, oh, the flashlight's almost dead. Oh, God. I already forgot. Li Jun? Can you bring me a battery? There should be a small store on the street. Fine. Half an hour ago, a coffin caught fire during a f funeral in... Oh god, how do I pronounce that? Is it... Is it Qingtan or Qing... Qing Qingtan? Ah, uh, I'm, I'm not sure. Qingtan, okay, thank you very much. Qingtan Town. The informant claimed that it was arson. Her superiors sent us to investigate the matter. This is my first time working as a criminal investigator. Oh, there's autosave. Thank God. Oh, this is neat. Hmm? Believe in science, not superstition. Qingdang Town is secluded. It's a secluded town in the mountains. I heard they had retained. It's many superstitions, superstitious customs. There should be a small store nearby. All right, if you say so. Okay, there's no run button. Items. Same. Oh. Okay, cool. I can save wherever. Maybe this is RPG Maker. It sounds like it. The sound effects are at least similar to it. Okay, cool. Oh, this already looks ominous. There's a basin full of paper ash on the counter. The ember glows from time to time. Anyone here? small store on it. I just woke up. What can I do for you? I'll take a double-A battery. Here you go. 2-1. Okay, th th these sound effects are absolutely like... I've, I've heard them in RPG Maker games. Specifically Misao. I swear I've heard these in Misao. Get ready to be jump-scared by some entity. I would hope not. Also, hope that's not a spoiler, because spoilers are, like, uh, they're, they're a no bueno. RPG Maker vibe? Yeah. There, there's a few RPG Maker games that are in 2D. Like, Dreaming Mary comes to mind. Also, I don't want to be the guy that sees fog in a game and it instantly goes, Oh my god, Silent Hill! But the, the close-ups of, whoa, hello there. The close-ups of, like, uh, the ember and whatnot reminds me of, like, the full-screen images that happens a lot. Okay, I should bring the battery back, right? Oh, he looked after me. Jing, I got the battery. Thanks, buddy. I'll wrap up here. You can go and check out the scene first. Since you're new here, I can take this chance to you can take this chance to familiarize yourself with the place. Yes. All right, if he says so. Also, if I stumble over my words a little bit, I am so sorry. Like uh, full disclosure, I have genuinely not slept. <laughs> All right. Oh, credits. Funeral shed is on the right. Alright. Can I read this? The it's a bulletin board, but it's too dim to see clearly. Okay, I guess not. What? Didn't I pass this place a while ago? Hmm. 
Oh, God. That scared me. This wasn't here before. Blood oozes from the wall. Why did it autosave? That can't be a good sign. Okay, do I need to like find something to... Can I take these with me? So I can like... Carry them? Oh no, I guess I just keep walking. There are two blank notes stuck on it. That's the money I used to buying the battery just now. What's going on? I guess I just keep walking. Alright. Still same old, same old. Wait, whoa, 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 there's a door. Oh, creepy. A rusty door appeared on the wall. Why are we going in? Oh. Prelude. Debt. There's a letter on the table. Uh, Wang Jinkai, the store owner, had passed away from illness. Please deliver six wreaths, two paper dolls, and two candles in three days, October 18th. Why are the things looking at me? It was signed two days ago. So the funeral the informant mentioned was for the small store owner. Who was the person in the small store just now? Oh. Oh, that guy shouldn't have been there, should he? Because he's dead. Ooh. Spooky. Find something for illuminating. There's a candle right here, my guy. Oh, it's fixed to the table. Okay. Some creepy paper dolls. They look as if they will come to life any moment. Uh, please don't. It's a dead end. Alright. Dead end here too. Okay, do I just leave? I don't have anything. It's still too dark. No? Okay. What if I go back then? Really? Okay. Maybe I should turn up the volume a little bit because, like, there's some really cool, creepy ambience going on that I feel like we can't hear too well. Or maybe it's... Maybe it's quite on purpose. Because there's a lot of games that put their soundtrack way, way quiet. Like, they put all the sound effects of way, way quiet, so you set the game at a certain volume, and then that's when they hit you with the BOO! Okay, clearly this is not working, so it's probably something in here. Okay, can I pick up the other candle and maybe... Yeah, there we go. I have to find a way to light this candle. Gee, I wonder how. Yes. I can see clearly now. Now we'll look around the house. The paper doll is holding a ledger in its hand. September 23rd. Wang Xing Wang Wang Xing Feng. Maybe. Borrowed 500 grams of eggs and owed Wang Jing Kai 
RMB 250. I am very culturally uneducated. Please forgive me. Xi Rong Fa borrowed a bottle of soy and owed Wang Jingkai 16. Let's see. Ling Yishun borrowed a battery and owed. Wait, that's me. Whoa, hold on a minute. What? Wait, that's. That's our name. It's today's date. Why is my name on it? Some items can be viewed again on the menu page. Okay, okay. Okay. Let's see. I'm probably gonna have to use this for like a puzzle or something. That's usually how the- What the heck is going on with your face?! The paper doll's face is covered in ink. Cool! Everybody's favorite. Whoa! Stop doing that. Okay, at least I can read stuff now. It's a piece of paper on the chair. Volume 1. Debt to the dead. If you take a dead person's belonging, whoops, you will be owed a debt to the dead. If you don't return them in time, maladies, melodies, will befall you. Or worse, tragedies will befall your whole family. Return them as soon as possible to avoid this catastrophe. Okay. An obituary is on the bulletin board right in the center. The door is gone! The door is gone! A volunteer teacher of Qingtang Primary School had passed away at the age of 27. Culture and Education Office of Qingtang Multi... Is okay. The name is blacked out. Blood ooze of two pieces of ancestor money are stuck on the wall. Okay. Should I return that to the fiery thing, maybe? Yes. The ancestor money was burned to ash. Why does it have blood? Don't worry about it. The road is clear now. Is it? Is it though? <laughs> the hell it is. The paper doll is pointing to the right. Oh, okay. We got to the funeral place, right? I thought there was like an arson thing here. Doesn't... Where did the bereaved family go? I'll investigate the scene first. The candles on the table are flickering with red light, illuminating the black and white portrait of the deceased. That's the person I met at the small store just now. The creepy paper doll. That's the emergency number, isn't it? Uh, okay. Let's check the lid first. There's a telephone on the coffin lid. Following the phone cable, a handset can be found inside the coffin. The latest number dial was 110. The call was made around the same time the police received the report. See inside? The body is lying in the coffin. You can vaguely see that the clothes have been burned to pieces. 
The inside of the coffin is blackened from the smoke. It's exuding a strong smell. It's the smell of pyrotechnic powder. Why is that inside the coffin? The wreath and the paper doll near the opening are blackened from the smoke, but there's no trace of burning. The ignition point should be inside the coffin. The fire didn't spread outside. So what does that tell us? The body just burst into flames? Is that it? The scene is a bit weird. It doesn't seem like a normal fire. I have to tell Zhang about this situation. Will it let me go back this time? Why are you gone now? It's pitch black ahead. Hello, hi. A paper doll has appeared on the road. What the heck? The wreath is blocking the way. It's a ledger covered in ash on the counter. October 20th. You are next. You can't escape. Jesus Christ. The word debt is written all over the portrait. So, there are two ways that you could see this. As, number one, the store owner had a debt to the dead. Or, I have a debt to the dead, and I am currently in some... Deep trouble. Thank you for the super chat. <laughs> Please tell me my partner is here. Hello? Why are you not here? Why are you not here? Hello? Why would you just walk in? All right. Firework. What do you see this time? I see a white mist. Anything other than the white mist. There's also a car. It's a black hearse driving very slowly. I want to get closer to it. But it always gets further away from me. Who is the hearse for? That hearse. It's for my dad. Hmm. How, how do you say this? Li Jun? Li Jun? Is that how you say it? It's the main character's name, so I feel like I should at least get that right. Yep, okay. Thank goodness I got it. Li Jun. Oh, okay. 
Oh, you're finally awake. You were trying to cross the border, right? <laughs> Skyrim. Is this... the clinic? Why am I here? <laughs> Did you forget? You fainted near the funeral shed. I fainted? You scared the living hell out of me. Luckily, the clinic is nearby. The doctor examined you and said you fell asleep. I'm sorry. I had this problem since I was a kid. I'm sorry for making you worried. It's okay. Captain Lou told me about your condition. Don't take it to heart. Take your time to adjust your work. Yes. Uh, by the way, do you have any news about the fire at the funeral? I had asked the person in charge and was caused by a half-burned paper that had fallen into a wreath. But I've investigated the scene. The fire started from inside the coffin. <laughs> That's impossible. The coffin was closed. Additionally, the person in charge did not pursue the case. He didn't even know who called the police. Some mischief mischievous kid probably did it. Was no one else at the scene during the incident? Yeah, the deceased was the owner of a small store. Wang Jinkai. He got divorced a few years ago. I'm sorry if I'm saying that wrong. The man was very stingy. His relative stopped contacting him a long time ago. Nobody cared about his death, so residents in town pitied him. He donated some money to hold a funeral for him. Li Xun, don't trouble yourself with this case. Go and get some rest. All right. Okay. Yes. Hello? Stingy? What's that? Uh, it means cheap. Like, if, if somebody's stingy, for example, if you ask somebody, like, if somebody has candy, and you ask them, hey, can I have some? And they go, no, it's mine. They're being stingy. Uh, the doctor isn't here. What's the matter? Uh, hello? How can I help you? The person on the other end hung up. Okay, auto save. Cool, cool and good. A bag of IV solution is hanging on the infusion stand. When I was a kid, I used to get these random fevers frequently. The doctors at the hospital could not find the cause of it. My grandma knew a shaman. She said I was born at a yin date, at a yin time. So I attract spirits, naturally. The last time I saw the shaman was at Dad's funeral. She sighed when she saw me and said a few words. It's heaven. It's heaven's will that you can see ghosts. You will become a policeman and help the dead find justice. Ouch! <laughs> I should not have turned this game up as high as I did. That's very loud. The following news report... Mm. The following news report is about a local case. On September 15th, a family of four in... Tingtan Town was found dead at home. The house owner, Mr... Tian? Maybe? His wife and granddaughter had died from rat poison. What? 
His daughter-in-law, Zhao, had hung herself. The police force suspect that Zhao, who had a mental health issue, had poisoned the family and hung herself. The case is under further investigation, and we welcome any information to the public or from the public. There's a key next to the TV. Okay, got a clinic key. Cool. Alright. Excuse me. Oh, hello. Chapter 1. The Telephone. Officer, how do you feel? Mm, are you the doctor here? Yes, my name is Yi Jingxiang. Maybe. I'm, I'm trying my best here. Nice to meet you. Dr. Yi, thanks for taking care of me. I'm a doctor. Saving people is my job. By the way, I've never seen you around. Did you transfer here recently? Yeah, I just checked in yesterday. No wonder. Jingdan is a very humid... Is, is very humid. Newcomers don't adapt easily. Just make sure you get plenty of rest. Do you want to smoke? I'm okay, I don't smoke. You're rare. Every cup I know is a chain smoker. Especially the experienced ones. They can't solve any cases without cigarettes. I haven't had a case yet, so <laughs> can't relate. I see. Oh, uh, don't tell anyone I smoke. I always tell the old folks here to smoke less, and I just can't justify if they find out I smoke too. Dr. Yi is... Wang Jing Tsai... Wang Jing Tsai... Tsai... Wang Jing Tsai... Maybe... S store next door... Yes... Why? Nothing, I just encountered something strange at the funeral... So I'm just trying to understand the situation... Do you know how Wang Jing Tsai died? His body was found several days after he died. I haven't seen the corpse, so it's hard to say. The people in town are saying that he died horribly, as if he was killed by a ghost. Killed by a ghost? About that. It probably has something to do with the family side that happened some time ago. Are you talking about the Tian family case? I saw it on TV. Yeah. After the Tian family died, Wang Jin Tsai had told everyone that the Tian family in law was a mad woman. He said she went crazy and murdered the whole family. Everyone thinks the daughter in law's spirit killed Wang Jin, Jin Tsai because he spoke ill of her. Of course, I'm a doctor. I don't believe in such superstitions. Wang Jin Tsai had cardiovascular disease, so he probably died from a heart attack. That that is a heart attack that likes to cut the power. I think the circuit breaker tripped. I'll go and have a look. Officer, you might want to grab some candles in the black van outside. Okay. Am I doing okay? I'm really struggling with the names. I'm so sorry. <laughs> mm. Uh, oh, a dead end? Is this where I go? A black van is parked across the road. Why are there spider webs on it, though? There are a few candles and a lighter next to the seat. Sweet. Got ourselves a candle. Neat. I can barely make out some boxes of fireworks in the van under, under the candlelight. Hey, fireworks, roll credits. 
Why are there fireworks in a van belonging to the clinic? Hmm. It isn't far from the funeral shed here. Doctor, you may know something about the fire and the funeral. Oh no, I'm so late. Go no, it's fine. You haven't missed much. <laughs> you just have missed a little bit of spooky shenanigans. That's about it. Title drop. This... Was, did this look like this last time? No, this... The door's covered with a thick layer of spider webs. Maybe there's a way to clean up the spider web. Use your hand, burn it with a candle. Burn it with a candle, I guess. Well, that was easy enough. Hello? Hey there, demons. It's me. Ya boy. It was a similar willow tree planted at my old house. My grandma said the trees, the tree was the root of the lean family and it would bless us. My dad didn't believe it. On the day he was buried, the willow tree whined as if it was crying. Okay, so there's nothing this way. Hi! <sighs> Hello? Is this the breaker? There are two wires in the box. One wire is burnt. The other one seems functional. Oh, puzzle! Let's go! Oh, wait. Oh. It's, okay, it's a, it's fine. It's just lines. It's lines. There's no circles, only lines. It's fine. Alright, uh, let's see. Uh, this shouldn't be too bad. Um, maybe I spoke, maybe I spoke too soon. Uh, hmm. Okay, let, 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 let's start with this, maybe. Maybe, maybe the, I think the red one is the one to follow. Yeah, yeah, the red one, the red one. The, the purple one is a distraction, I think. Yeah, look at this, look at this, look at this. Easy peasy. Oh, it's you again. Hello. You are... Oh, God. <clears throat> I don't even know. I haven't slept. Can I even do girl voices right now? Let me try. <clears throat> Isn't the case closed? What are you doing here? The case? Mm. Are you uh, new here? Yeah, I just transferred in here not long ago. Um, what case are you talking about? Oh god, how do I read this? Chen Ching Sui. Chen Cheng Ching Sui. Maybe. Perhaps? Am I getting it? Okay, yay! Good for me. I can't do it today. What the hell? <laughs> My name is Cheng Cheng Ching Sui. I'm a volunteer at Teacher Qingdom Primary School. A month ago... Uh, I can't do it. I'm just going to read it regularly. A month ago, my student at Tian... My student, Tian Fang Fang. I hope I'm reading the right. Her mother and grandparents were found dead at home. But you guys suspected that it was Fang Fang's mother who killed the whole family. Hmm. I know Fang Fang's mother. She wouldn't hurt Fang Fang. Have you found any evidence? 
As you can see, I'm looking for it. Why are you searching for evidence at the clinic? You'll know after I find it and send it to the press. Miss Chen, since you're a volunteer teacher here, I'm not going to put you on the spot, but don't take anything from here. It'll be hard to deal with if somebody finds out. Also, I'm Lin. I'm criminal investigator from the criminal investigation department. I'll be around. Let me know if you run, in, run into trouble. Hmm. Got it. Even the normal voice works too. Okay, thanks. <laughs> I, I tried. Like, usually when I go up in the, uh, in the girl voice, it, it sort of becomes more breathy and airy. But right now, I just kind of sound like Mickey Mouse. I just kind of sound like this. It's just Mickey Mouse. This doesn't actually sound very girlish. Can I pick this up? A red umbrella dripping with water. Can, can I pick it up? No? All right. <sighs> I might find important evidence here. Mini Evelyn. There are many victims in this case. Her superiors take this matter seriously. Captain Lou wouldn't have closed the case nonchalantly. Hmm. I'll collect more information about the Tian family's case. Hmm. But it sounds more Valley Girl. <laughs> What, the, the high-pitched or my, my my way of speaking? There's a dude here. You can see a fuzzy human-shaped figure through the window. I wonder what that's all about. And now they're not here anymore. There's a strange rumor about the Tian family murder case. According to the town residents... On the seventh day after the murder, residents with landlines received a call in the middle of the night. On the other side, there were sounds of a rope tightening, as if a heavy object was being hung. The number displayed was from the public phone market owned by the Tian family. In response to this, the police has stated it was a rumor and urged people not to spread it. This isn't the phone ringing. The phone screen shows two voicemails. Jing 
Zhao Xiaozhuang. Oh God, I'm so sorry. Zhao Xiaozhuang did come to the clinic before the incident. She said her mother-in-law had a bad cough and wanted to buy some medicine for coughing. She left after buying the medicine. The people in the clinic saw her. I still have a copy of the receipt for the medicine. Please contact me again if you have any further questions. The sound of a car starting is coming from outside the door. I almost said the sound of a cow starting. You just, just imagine I heard moo. The car seems to be driving towards the funeral shed. Why is it going to the funeral shed so late? What the heck? What is this place? Several graves are located far away. They look gloomy in the dark. A cordon is blocking the way. Enter. Sure. Yeah. Absolutely. What? What could possibly go wrong? Am I in some sort of purgatory? What the heck is happening? The mailbox says Tian Zhao Long Zhang Dong. Is this Tian's house? I'll investigate the scene first. On today's episode of Ike's stream, Swedish boy does not know how to pronounce names. Oh, I can climb the stairs. Do we go in here first or do we go up first? I'm feeling... Uh, let's go in here first. I'm willing to bet the door up there is going to be locked. So I'm going to need to find a key or something. Oh, okay. Mmm, I'm gonna need to code here, don't I? What do we got here? Call me when you find the order. Hold on, what does it say? Red, blue, blue, red. Was there a clue over here? I just see a bunch of numbers in the back. But I don't think... No, I don't think that's going to be it. <sighs> Sorry, I'm yawning so much. Calendar says September 22nd. I thought it was October. The time of the crime was September 15th. Why is the calendar showing the date that is seven days after that? Hmm. Thank you for the super chat. I can't pronounce names either properly, so you're not the only one, Ike. <laughs> Let's stand in solidarity with as pronunciation strugglers. Not me trying to guess that the door upstairs is going to be locked and the door in here is the one locked instead. That's the wrong button. Psych! That's the wrong button. And then everybody goes crazy, like, whoa, super hot. I am going to lose my mind. Okay, so, let's try the numbers in the back here, then. One, three, six, four. No, okay. There's a note on the wall.
2357. Two, three, five, seven. Oh, heck yeah. Hey, today's Fung Fung's birthday. Don't forget to get the cake before you head home. The order slip for the cake was in some clothes pocket that got washed. Now there's only half a piece, le piece of the paper left in the washing machine. Now my lower back hurts. I can't get it out. The other half might be inside the pocket of the clothes that are being hung up. Remember to check the pockets before putting clothes in the washing machine next time. Hmm. Sounded like a middle-aged woman by the voice. Also, you want to know something sad? I have gotten valuable things of mine washed. Twice. Twice. So please check your pockets of uh, both clothes and like, uh, like whether it be jackets or pants or anything. AirPods Pro, no. <laughs> like your phone. Um. So Sweden gets cold, right? We have very thick jackets, even for kids. And I used to have a red winter jacket, a real thick boy when I was younger, a real thick red jacket. And the, this jacket had very deep pockets that I could fit a bunch of stuff in. And my number one thing that I always, always, always brought with, with me was my Nintendo DS Lite. It lived in that pocket because I brought it everywhere. I played a bunch of games on it wherever I went. I even had a wrist strap for it because you can actually attach a wrist strap. So I always had my hand through that in case I dropped it so it would be safe. And inside that DS was my copy of Pokemon Pearl with roughly... 460 hours of it, of time, planed on it. So, uh, when I found out, I was somewhat distraught. My wrist strap had turned pink, which was kind of neat. But the DS was dead. <laughs> Thankfully, the game, after getting be, being left out to dry, the game was fine. Somehow. The DS itself was dead, though. So, ba da ba ba da ba what a, uh, Like, you know. That stuff happens. So, obviously, financial loss, but at least it didn't have the sentimental loss, right? And the f that was the second time I uh, had something get uh, washed that I had in my pocket. The first time, nothing got salvaged. Because the first time was when a pair of pants I had got washed. And the pockets didn't get checked. And in that pocket, I had... My Pokemon cards. And a lot of them were from, like, you know, the old, old ones. The first edition kinds. And yes, I had the Charizard. I had one of the Charizards. And it fell victim to the washing machine. Along with a bunch of other rare cards. There was a shiny Raichu. There was a Mewtwo. Uh, there was a bunch of other ones that were like f a lot newer. There was like a Dark Celebi that was released in, uh, in conjunction with Pokemon Forever. Uh, there was an Electrode EX, bunch of other stuff. Why is it always Pokemon stuff? Because I am cursed! Needless to say, I, I check my pockets a lot these days. Anyway, moving on.
The clothes should be hung outside. Alright, let's go look for clothes. I'm nine months in, time to pop out the baby. That is... The wildest way to say happy nine months of membership that I have ever seen. Congratulations, I think? I didn't see any clothes anywhere. Oh, oh, it's the pants up there, isn't it? The pants. The leather pants. Pants that's still wet. There seems to be something in the pocket. Pokemon cards! Obtain half a cake order slip. A okay, flavors, butter, chocolate, lettering on the cake. What? It's a po- Man, the tiniest thing gets me to jump in this game. My first language is Mandarin, but I, I can't read it too. Maybe it's because it's written in like, you know, like in, in a, like a romanization. Because I've heard that some, like, romanization makes things more difficult sometimes. Like, for example, uh, I know that people that are learning Korean, they just say, please just learn Hangul. Like, reading, reading the, Rom uh, the Romaji for Hangul is pain. It's so difficult. Just learn it. It's way easier. So maybe it's, uh, maybe it's similar with, uh, with this right here. Oh, here's the wash. Oh, great. The lid of the washing machine is closed tightly. There's a piece of paper on it. Mirrors can reflect reality and see through people's hearts. Look at yourself in the mirror and find the truth. All right. Seems like I need to turn the knob to the correct position to open the lid. There might be clues nearby. I think you might be holding one, my guy. Ooh. A strange symbol is on the wall in the mirror. I rarely look in the mirror. Grandma said I have too much yin energy. I would be possessed by ghost if I looked in a mir mirror. After my dad passed away, I secretly looked in the mirror once. In the mirror, I saw dad's clothes hanging on the wall behind me. It was a green police uniform dripping with blood. I never looked in mirrors since then. I can't remember what I looked like when I was a child, and it feels strange to see myself. Are there other mirrors, or is that the only one? It's an odd pattern inside that. Ooh, it seems to be unfinished. Maybe I need some water? Ah, there we go. The reflection on the water combines with the pattern in the bathtub to complete a symbol. Okay, so that's number three. Seems to be something hidden behind the curtains. Let's open the curtains. There's a wall outside the window with a strange symbol painted on it. Okay, so two is two o'clock. Three is seven o'clock. So something to seven. Okay, seven to seven then. Is this it? No. 
know. Maybe I'll have another look. Yeah, that for sure. Oh, it's mirrored, isn't it? Maybe it should be that instead. Yeah, that's what I thought. There's a half piece of paper at the bottom of the washing machine's drum. Okay, let's see. Details. Let's see. What does that say? I, I can't read the middle line. I think it says pig, but I don't see what it says before it. Flavors, chocolate, lettering on the cake. Hmm, okay, so I wonder what this is about. Cake was for Tian Fang Fang. The Tian family was already killed by the 22nd. Or, or the 21st, why did I say second? Who ordered the cake? Zodiac? Oh, that could be it. <laughs> why? Why are you the way that you are? The door is locked. Cool! Awesome! This place is... The department's morgue. There's a corpse lying in the morgue tray, next to an autopsy report. Medical autopsy report. Let's see. Name of the deceased. Zhao Xiao. Zhao Xiao Zhuan. Hopefully I'm saying that right. Gender female, height, age 33. The deceased died from shock caused by asphyxiation, maybe? No other trauma than signs of struggle. Blah, 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 blah. From the on-site investigation and interview, we can confirm that the deceased had committed suicide. The hair of the deceased was entangled with a telephone at the scene of the crime. In order to perform the autopsy, we had to cut some of the hair. We suspect the body of the deceased had rotated after she hung herself, causing her hair to be caught by the telephone cord. Lovely! Why am I watching this at 10pm? Because that's the spooky hour, it gets scary! Some people like to get scared when it's laid out. Oh, there's hair coming out right here. The hair is clumped up in the sink. It seems to be something at the bottom of the sink. Can I set the hair on fire? I guess not. Maybe I can use the scissors. Sachiko, please. Do not come for me. Snip, snip. Oh, what do we got here? E. Oh, cool! That's great! Awesome! Corpse is covered in hair. Uh, oh, I can probably open this now. Electric box is locked. Let's open that. There are two switches on the electric box. Uh, turn the red one. There's something hidden underneath the thick hair. Push the hair aside? Yeah, sure. I don't think this is the cake that they ordered. A pig, pig's head is placed on top of a birthday cake. It seems to be an offering in a sacrificial ceremony. A 
The word libation is on the... Or is it libation or libation? I don't know. Is on the pig's forehead. It looks abnormal due to the lightning, lighting. Happy birthday! Okay, let's flip this blue one. Ooh. Ooh, I see what they're doing. I see what they're doing. Okay. One, one, four, eight. I can read. I can read those. I remember White Day. Oh, you again. Hold on while I just... Oh, never mind. Miss Chen, why are you here? This is Fang Fang's house. I wanted to see if there are any clues here. You said the case was closed. My presence at the crime scene won't bother you, right? Uh. Miss Chen, I've read the reports on the case. The autopsy reports shows that Zhao Xiao Zhuang had committed suicide. And the news said that Zhao Xiao Zhuang hung herself after her family members died. So what? If I come to the home to see my family poisoned and not breathing, I will still call for an ambulance straight away. Hmm. You don't understand. After Fang Fang's father passed away, Fang Fang was Zhao Xiao Zhuang's only mental support. Oh, Mika, what's up? I thought we were watching Katy Perry. Hey, I saw Firework. I thought it was going to be Katy Perry, too. Instead, we got some cool horror stuff. I came, I came looking for bronze and I found gold. Zhao Xiao Zhuang loved Fang Fang deeply. After the incident, everyone thought Zhao Xiao Zhuang had lost her mind. But I know she didn't. She was very sane. Looking at her daughter's dead body, could you imagine how devastating that would be? I'm chugging so much caffeine right now to keep myself in the game. So you think someone poisoned Fang Fang's family? And Zhao Xiao Zhuang came home and saw Fang Fang's body, so she mentally broke down and killed herself. This is possible, right? I can't make a conclusion without finding more clo clues. What clues are you looking for? I want to know why you went to the clinic. Does Dr. Yi know, have anything to do with this case? Yi Jingshan had a strong motive for murder. Two years ago, Fang Fang's father, Tian Yu, had an epileptic seizure and was sent to Yi Jingshan's clinic for emergency treatment. But he didn't make it. Fang Fang's grandfather, Tian Tianxiang, Tianxiang Rong, I think, believed that Yi Jingxiang killed his son. He led a group of people to smash Dr. Yi's clinic and broke his ribs. Yi Jingxiang ended up confined to a hospital bed for more than half a month. He also lost a lot of money to the Tian family before they were, everything was settled. More so... Zhao Xiao Zhuang had gone to the clinic before the incident. Don't you think it's too much of a coincidence? Dr. Yi said Zhao Xiao Zhuang went to the clinic for cough medicine. There were other patients who had witnessed the incident at that time. Who knows if there was anything wrong with the medicine he gave her. Dead people can't talk. So you went to the clinic to find evidence of Dr. Yi's crime. Yes, but Yi Jingxiang is a smart man. 
He left no clues. Then what do you have you found here? Hmm. There's nothing here. I have to investigate somewhere else. I will take my leave if you don't need anything else. Miss Chin looks a little strange. Is it because she found something here? Hmm. I wonder. Okay, so let's see. I'm 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 just gonna look again. I'm gonna look again. Uh autopsy report? No. Okay, let's see. Um one one four eight. So one four eight one. All right. Hello. We saw the cake. Fang Fang liked it very much. Your father-in-law said that Fang Fang's classmates are coming. Please prepare a nice dinner. And don't forget to pick up something at the restaurant. Remember to get some fish. You and Fang Fang love to eat fish. And one more thing. This morning, I noticed that Fang Fang left a house key in the dining room again. She's so forgetful, even at such a young age. What if she left the key outside and someone picked it up? Children learn everything from adults, so you have to set an example. Huh, wonder what that's about. All right, uh, not really sure what that tells us, but okay. Ooh, okay, something's different here. A few pieces of moldy cakes appeared in the bowls. Let's investigate the cakes. <laughs> Let's start with the first piece. Nothing. Let's try the second. Nothing. Third time's the charm. Key. Am I gonna get hit by a car? Where did that sound come from? The girl's portrait appears behind the railings. It seems to be a photo of Fang Fang. Hmm. I was kind of curious what was behind the last cake. Is there a car over here? Guess not. Maybe I can check this portrait and then unlock the door? The portrait is gone. All right then. The key I just got should be able to open the door. It's my first time at a crime scene. Take a deep breath and exhale hard. After I exhaled the anxiety out of my chest, I take the key and... Again? It's the phone in the public phone market. The other side is silent. Only a rustling sound is heard. Hmm. Hello? Hey, officer. Dr. Yi? You remembered my voice, even though we only just met once. Well, so do you. Uh, 
interesting. I was busy, so I didn't hear the phone running. The call just now. Was that you? The phone call? It wasn't me. I didn't see who made the call either. That's weird. This number belongs to the Tian family. Am I experiencing that supernatural stuff the news mentioned before? I know about those news. Has anyone else in town received a call like that? I heard people in town say that on the seventh day after they died, a few of the grandmother's classmates received strange phone calls. That day was also the grandmother's birthday. I also heard that on the sixth day after they died, a cake shop in the city received an order, and the cake was for the granddaughter. Now the people in town are terrified of going near the Tian house. They're afraid of coming across <laughs> evil spirits. Officer, I'm curious about what you're doing in the Tian house. There's something about the Tian family case that I wish to find out. So I went to investigate. Something you can't figure out. Dr. Yi, did Xiao Xiaojuan go to your clinic before the incident? Yes. Yes, it's flu season, so the clinic was pretty busy that day, and everyone saw her. Did the Tians usually go to you when they were sick? An extremely subtle chuckle came through the phone. I understand what you can't figure out. You probably heard about the incident between me and the Tian family. Indeed, the Tians would rather take a longer route for another doctor than come to me after that incident. I was also pretty surprised that Xiao Xiaozhuang suddenly came to the clinic that day. What did she say? She said her mother-in-law had a bad cough and asked if I had a certain brand of cough medicine. Then she left after buying the medicine. Got it. Thanks for your co cooperation. No problem. I can't help you with much. Much with this case. And do you want to continue the investigation? If there's anything suspicious with this case, I can't pretend that I don't see it. <sighs> to be honest, when I asked whether you smoke in the clinic just now, you said no, and that you haven't investigated a case. I thought you were a rookie. It's really impressive that you managed to obtain these clues in such a short period of time. I'd like to know how you found these clues. Unfortunately, I have business to attend now, so I hope to chat with you more once I get the chance. I won't bother you anymore. Bye, officer. I don't know what to make of this whole situation. I can't make heads or tails out of it. Ugh. Something smells fishy. I know, but I can't put my finger on what it is. Hmm. I'm also feeling myself nodding off a little bit. Hmm. More Red Bull in my system. Yi Jing Chang was in the cl clinic while the crime was happening, and he had his patients as witnesses. He's not really that suspicious. However, Yi Jing Chang seems to be consciously or unconsciously revealing strange rumors about the Tian family. He was also very interested in my investigation of the case. And when I answered the phone, he recognized my voice right away. It's like he's lurking in a corner nearby and watching everything. One of the chairs is tipped over now. I don't know if it that that was there before.
What in the heck is that? <laughs> Sorry. That got me. I don't think I've ever reacted to a jump scare that that way before. So that that's a new Ike noise to add to the pile. Please don't blame me. Fireworks! Finally! Li Shun, can you tell me something about your father? My dad was a criminal investi investigator. He had handled a lot of big cases. He was always busy and away from home. After his death, I finally saw his face clearly for the first time. I was young then. I started, stared curiously at the small wound on his forehead. The adults often said that I looked a lot like him. Every time they said that, I would think of the wound, and my head would start aching. That feeling was like the bullet that killed my dad had taken root in my head. Time to get up. Food's ready. Get up now. What in the heck? This is my room. I'm... Okay, so... There's two questions I have right now. Obviously, there's the mystery that we're trying to solve. But also, why is there a bunch of supernatural stuff happening? Is this really happening? Is it all in our head? Or is this like a Silent Hill kind of thing where it's like everything sort of becomes a reflection of the darkest parts of your mind? Or I, I don't know. I remember as I was leaving the public phone market. A black car drove towards me. But I don't have any wounds on my body. <laughs> but, uh, or I don't, uh, don't feel any pain. Who brought me back? This is my room. When was this mirror installed? Get up and wash, it's time to eat! Alright. Am I gonna have to find the missing pieces? There's a bottle of sleeping pills on the nightstand. I don't remember buying sleeping pills. You're still not done washing? The food's getting cold. I've heard this voice before. It's the voice of the middle-aged woman on the phone. So do you know who that is? Or are you being shown... <laughs> Fragments that fell out of the mirror are jutting out from the bed. I remember. 
This is the mirror from the bathroom in the Tian house. Why is the Tian family's mirror in my room? I'll search if there's any other suspicious objects. Okay, that's what I thought. So we're putting it back together. Or at least that's what I thought. Maybe I can uncover this mirror right here. What the heck? The mirror was broken into several pieces, one of which looks out of place. Alright, cool. I need a third one. What do we got here? Oh, here we go. I noticed that. Award. This is to certify that Li Xun is an outstanding triple A student. In the second semester of 1990. Can I piece together the mirror now? Here you go. Chapter 2. Accumulated Sins 1. A window has appeared in the mirror. <laughs> this place is the bathroom in the Tian house. What the heck is going on? It's too dark outside. Okay, cool. So we gotta go back there. Hello? What am I doing? Hello? Oh, thank God, finally. Light source. There fills the pungent smell of gunpowder. The mist has become thicker than before. It seems something was burnt nearby. He unlocks the door. What the heck is this? A red umbrella is... Mm, the red umbrella... Is she here? Miss Cheng, I believe her name was? Let's see, it's the 22nd. Let's see. My birthday is coming soon. Mother said that she will go to town and buy a big cake for me. 2004. Ike, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm, I'm just very tired. I'm sorry. A happy family. Hmm. Piece of yellow paper is under the phone. Visha. After a person died, the spirit will return to the land of the living on the seventh day. This phenomena is called Huisha. Or Huisha, maybe. To prevent the spirit from getting lost, family members will light candles in their house. 
the spirit will find their way back by following the candles. Alright. Hmm. Candles engraved with one. Uh, no, not yet. Four. Okay, so one, four, five. No, I didn't mean to do that. Okay. I guess I'm lighting them. Onwards. There's a grayscale portrait on the wall with the same, with the name Tian Yu written at the corner. Tian Yu. I remember he was Feng Feng's father. Channel requires tuning to receive normal signals. I think I get it. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Okay, I think I, I think I get it. believe that it should be this, 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 there we go. Easy peasy. The radio is playing weird chanting sounds. Balcony door is locked, okay. Oh, there you are again. I'm willing to bet money on the fact that she's a ghost. He has to be a ghost. Because, like, he, he did say that he had, like... Because he was... Like, he, he's not allowed to look in mirrors and, like, spirits are attracted to him because of his yin energy, I believe. So I'm, I'm fairly sure that she should be a ghost. Miss Chen. What a coincidence. We ran into each other twice tonight. Officer, what are you doing here? Miss Chen, maybe you're right. It might be hidden clues in the Tian family case. I'll continue to investigate. What did you find? Nothing yet, but I'll try hard to search the house. Also, this is a crime scene. It'll be hard for me to explain to my superior if you leave any traces, so... I understand. I'll go somewhere else. I'll leave you alone. Officer, you seem to be quite concerned about this case. I was a bit harsh on you. I hope you don't take it seriously. It's okay. Hmm. What do we got here? The food at the table is rotten and there's a piece of paper next to it. My body will not rot into the mud. Like a bird, I'll die in the sky. 
like a sky burly burial. He's got the shining. <laughs> she called it shine. Some places shine, some don't. Some people shine, but others don't. Seems to have been torn from a book of poetry. Sky burials are crazy, yeah. I don't think they're legal. If I'm not mistaken, sky burials are not legal. Why do those people never pay the electricity bills? Hey, listen. It's really hard for a ghost to reply to an invoice. Keep that in mind. What in the heck? There's a family portrait in the wine jar, but why are their faces like that? Why is a photo in the jar? I have to find a way to get it out. Ugh, God. Ugh. Uh, excuse me. There's seasonings and chopsticks near the pot. Ooh! That'll do. Let's use the chopsticks. Okay, they look somewhat better out of the jar. One person is missing in the family portrait. How come that is? There was a family portrait here, I think. Yes. Press Z to straight in the frame. Okay, sure. TV 21. So I guess channel 21. Now we're going to reveal the special number for this issue. Gentlemen, the special number for the 28th issue of Jingyang Style is... Oh, 04. You can kind of see the dolls. Oh, okay. He Gui Lan. He Gui Lan. Or how do you say that? Gui Lan? Gui? Gui? How does... How does one pronounceth this? Oh, her. Her Gui... Her Gui Lan. Her Gui Lan. Her Gui Lan. Okay. Her Gui Lan. Thank you very much. I'll try to remember. Why'd you turn off the TV? I still want to watch my TV series. It's too noisy. Annoying. I've already told you, it's not easy to win the lottery. Well, a lottery ticket doesn't cost much. Okay, how, how do I say? Tian... Shangdong. Do you know how much money we have? You just lent... 10,001 to your cousin last month. We're almost out of money. He's my relative. I had to help. 
You just wanted to pretend to be generous and rich. When you gets the job, we'll, we will have we will be having more income. You've been trying to get him the job for several years and spent a lot on it. The people in your company were all flattering you back then. Now that you've been fired, they just don't care about doing favors for you. I was laid off under the arrangement of the state, not fired. Besides, the supermarket is almost ready. We can make money off of it too. Alright, I'm done with this. I'm going to cook. Hey, we can't let outsiders know that our family is short of money. Especially her. I understand. If other people know about this, you'll be humiliated. <laughs> what the fucking shit? Hey, that actually got me. Add that to the swear counter. <laughs> Tian's residence looks flashy, but it turns out they were financially struggling, which other people didn't know. There may be more secrets hidden here. Well, I'm awake now. <laughs> the sound of a door opening comes from outside the living room. Is it this one over here? How does this make sense? Okay, that's locked. What about this one then? Sleep deprived brain with horror goes brr. Indeed. Oh my god. Okay, what the hell is going on here? Okay. Clearly. This isn't something literal anymore. There is some supernatural or psychological shenanigans at play here. Because what the hell is going on with the dates? The moon sets, the crows cry, east of the maple tree. What do they mean? These are a book about f feng shui and celestial events. A piece of paper was put in one of them. Okay. Wait, look, can I look at that again? Let's see. New moon, full moon, first quarter moon, Third quarter moon. The new moon rises at six and sets at six. The first quarter mo moon rises at twelve and sets at midnight. Full moon rises at six and se or like six p.m. and sets at six a.m. Third quarter moon rises at midnight and sets at twelve p.m. Idori san, arigatou gozaimasu. Aiku kun, ganbatte. Please save. It's okay. It auto saves. It auto saves. But I, I, I can, I can drop a save just, just to have it, have it in there. You know. Made in China. Ooh, okay, I get it. I get it. Okay, so let's start with 6 p.m. Clock does not respond. Okay. Uh, then let's start with midnight then. Oh. What? What in the world? Oh. 
Hey, Tian. I'm here. Have you got the stuff? Here. It's fresh. Look, the color's nice, isn't it? It probably belonged to a higher ranking official in the... In the Qing Dynasty. All right, all right, put it away. <laughs> You're not going to touch it again? I'm just helping you contact your client. I won't touch it. I understand dead people's belongings are unlucky and too much of a taboo to you. I'll take you to the client on Wednesday. Wait for my call. Thank you in advance, Tian. By the way, Tian, you stopped doing this after you got married. Why did you start again? He has nothing to do with you. Hmm. Tian, I heard that you spent quite a lot on getting a job for you. I might be stingy, but I remember the favors I owe others. If you need something, our family isn't short of money. A previous client wanted a few antiques, and I couldn't refuse. That's why I came to you. Oh, you could have said that earlier. Good to hear you're all right. I'm heading off then. Hmm. Bad luck. Huh. The decorative painting on the clock has come off. There's a few lottery tickets h hidden inside. Ooh. Do you really think you can change your fate? Is your son's bad luck to be born into the Tian family? This is karma. It's time for burial. It's not good if we miss the auspicious time. So you spend some more time with you. I'll go on the balcony. He has planted some flowers here there. I'll check on them and pick a few beautiful ones to plant on the grave. He's gone. What's the point in that? You like those flowers. He'd be happy to have them planted by his grave. You did nothing wrong. You didn't serve the, deserve the karmic retribution. What karmic retrib retribution? You're talking like you had all endured hardships these years. I did those just to make money and give all of you a better life. Then tell me, how, now he died from illness. Whose fault is this? The burial people are coming soon. I'm going to the balcony to check on used flowers. Some are broken. It's upset to look at them. Creepy, creepy, creepy. It's the 30th now. What? I don't make what? A okay, balcony. Is this the balcony? No. Yeah, where could we have the balcony then? Everything here seems the same. All right. Okay, here are the plants, right? Uh, 
Or is it the one over here? Here we go. A potted plant that is about to wither. What did I do wrong? The job that I got my son was decent. Others would kill for it. The house I built for him was the most luxurious in this neighborhood. Everyone had to look up to us. I've never done anything wrong. This is all your fault. Yi Jing Shang. You killed my son. And it's almost fall. We'll catch a cold sleeping on the balcony. I've got a blanket. I'm fine. Besides, your mother's nagging irritates me. Is Fang Fang asleep? She went to bed after finishing her homework. Did she say anything? Before falling asleep, she said she missed her dad. She's still young. She needs adults to accompany her. Fang Fang is very close to your mother. Her world revolves around her. We want to watch Fang Fang grow up, right? Do you understand? I understand, Dad. That's good. You should spend more time with Fang Fang. I will. Dad, you should come in if it gets cold. I'm perfectly fine here. When I opened my eyes early in the morning, I saw a crowd downstairs. They all looked up at our house. I could see the envy in their eyes. Once, I even saw you in the crowd. I told him to come up, but he didn't respond. I'm trying to follow as best as I can. Dad, you were dreaming. Dreaming. If only I had been dreaming. Oh, we're making progress at least. Oh, let me just stretch a real quick. Oh. Right, a little sip and then we continue. I feel like I need to find something here. Or was it just story? It doesn't... Okay, I guess... I guess I don't pick anything up here. Was this door always here? Yes, it was. Oh, God. Where's the phone? the voice of Fang Fang's grandma. What did she mean by Tian Yu is back? Oh no. Oh no. What did they do? Forever remembered. 
The portrait in the fame frame disappeared. A few musical notes appear in the center. I wonder. Okay, I guess not. Oh, hi. I can you sight read the notes? I don't uh, I don't have a clef, so I don't know I don't know what key we're in. What is this, Miss Chen? I have no idea either. This place is weird. The room layout seems to be changing constantly. But I remember the pattern on this door. Fang Fang had a diary. This pattern was on the cover page. And this door has a combination lock. Just like her diary. Hmm. Do you know the passcode? This is my student's privacy. Of course I don't know. Maybe there are clues that can help us open this door? I'll look for them. Officer, can we look together? Fang Fang was a student I cared about very much. I want to know what Fang Fang and her family went through. If you're afraid that I might destroy the scene... It's okay, Miss Chen. I also want to know the Tian family's past. So, you have been in Qingtan Tao... In Qingtan Town longer than I have. You should know better. I'll do my best to answer whatever you want to know. No secrets will remain undiscovered in this little town. Well, Miss Cheng, thanks for your cooperation. Miss Cheng joined or Cheng Ching Sui joined the team. Awesome! We're no longer alone. You can obtain more clues by investigating some places again. Cool. Maybe you know what key this is in. <sighs> Excuse me. I remember there were musical notes on the door. Maybe this melody is related to the password. Let me have a look. Let's see. 535i. This is the prelude to the song Farewell. So mi so do. The last do is a high do. The one after the seventh note, so it can be interpreted as an eight. Password should be 5358. Miss Chen, do you teach music? I teach Chinese literature. The school doesn't have a music teacher, so I teach some simple songs in once in a while. I like this song very much. The student said, when I finish teaching here, They'll sing this song for me as a farewell gift. Hmm. This might be the password. Try it. Yes. Brainy, thank you very much. Long time no see. Uh, hmm? Idly watching vid and video, but suddenly see you playing my latest favorite game, which gave me a shock to my heart after playing it by myself. It's related to some traditional customs. Hope you have fun. Thank you very much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm very much enjoying it so far. I'm just a little bit sad that I am such a such a sleepy boy today. Okay. Speaking of sleepy boy, sleepy boy has bad memory. What was it? Five something. Not you guys giving all different answers. 5358. That one seems seems right. Okay, thank you.
Behind the door, a staircase going downward appears. We can't see the bottom of the staircase. Do you want to go down there and investigate? Heck yeah! Ah. <laughs> this is the exact same layout. What's wrong? I think I heard a little girl's laughter behind me. A little girl's laughter. My ears might have played a trick on me. I mean, you sound a bit superstitious. Are you scared? I'm a cop. I don't believe in ghosts. You might have one with you, my guy. We walked down such a long staircase and now we have... We're at the entrance again. But the atmosphere here feels different than it was earlier. Well, let's look around first. Okay, can't move forward here. A page that has been torn from a diary is stuck to the wall. Today we went to the city. Mom brought me a toy camera. Grandpa and Grandma took me to visit an old lady. On our way back, Grandpa and Grandma got into a quarrel. Whoa. Count me out next time for stuff like this. I don't believe in these things, and I don't want to be seen there. What is to be ashamed of? You've just read a few more books in school. Get off your high horse. Did the witch say anything wrong? She could tell that you touched belongings of the dead immediately. She just had a hunch. You're falling for her lies if you believe her. Tian Shang Dong. I don't know whether or you believe her or not. I can't let anything happen to Fang Fang. The witch gave me some talismans. Put them up at home and they'll cast evil spirits out. One more thing. Burn some offerings for people you've crossed. I don't believe in these. I won't do it. You... How are you still alive after sleeping on the cold balcony every day? I'll do it. You always need a woman to clean up your mess. Shame on you, Tian Xiaodong. The witch also said she saw you and he missed us. We'll go to the witch in a week and she can summon you. Stay home if you don't believe in these things. I'll take Fang Fang and our daughter-in-law along. You guys go. I'll stay home. Okay. And I... The door got bricked up. I mean, covered with bricks. I cannot believe I just said that. Covered with bricks. I'm... I'm actually going to backflip off a balcony or something. There's a toy camera hanging on the wall. I'm just going to forget about that and move on. Oh, hello. Chapter 3, Accumulated Sins 2. What the heck? What in the Eeb? <laughs> I'm 
drawing of a little girl is hitting inside the deity statue. Can I open the deity statue maybe? I can't identify what deity it is. It's probably one that the locals believe in. Let's try moving it. There's a diary page behind the statue. Today we went to see the old lady we visited last time. Grandma said we could see dad. Grandpa wouldn't go. Before we left, we folded a lot of shiny paper ingots. Used the arrow keys to operate. Oh, cool. So, wh wh what's the deal with this? M oh, whoops it, AC. I forgot something. One sec. Ugh. Please don't die on me. There we go. I needed to plug something in. <sighs> Zheng? Can't Fang Fang come in? This is soul summoning. It might accidentally summon other wandering ghosts. Fang Fang is young and weak in Yang energy. I'm afraid that her soul might get captured by a little ghost. Let her watch outside. Okay then, sorry for troubling you, Miss Zheng. Is it Zhang? Zhang? Well, probably Zhang, right? By the way, close the window. Don't let the evil spirits out. Okay, go shut the window, Xiao Zhang. <laughs> Don't interrupt me no matter what happens later. You can ask questions, and he'll answer you if he wants. If he doesn't, don't push him. And his soul will return to where it belongs after. Don't cling to it. Fang Fang. Fang Fang, wake up. Fang Fang, go out and play. So much fun out there. Try harder. What the? Come here, Fang Fang. What in the heck? What the? People say it's dangerous outside the pond. There's a lot of dead ends here. Hmm. A toad is muttering a spell that doesn't make any sense. She looks a lot like dad, but she isn't dad. Fish. Mom, ah, uh, I, I completely missed that. She said, I miss my home, the ocean. 
the ocean is vast and everyone lives freely in it. There are so many twists and turns and dead ends here. I really want to help Mama Mermaid. But I can't find the way out either. The little tadpoles swim, swam happily. When they saw Mother Tortoise lying on the rock, they swam over and asked, Mother Tortoise, where is our mother? Tian Fang Fang. Tian Fang Fang. Tian Fang Fang! Tian Fang Fang, are you daydreaming again? Why can't you pay attention like the other students? Go back and copy the text manually ten times. I'll call your parents over if you do it again. Oh, and one more thing. A new teacher, Miss Chen, will join our school tomorrow and replace me as your Chinese literature teacher. Make sure you, uh, you dress neatly tomorrow. So that you don't embarrass yourself. Not- Come on guys, it was chalk! So this is where Miss Chen comes in through the room. Or the picture. Where did Miss Chen go? Here we go again. What in the heck? Creepy doodles of big headed dolls, which seems to be unfinished. Red flowers painted on the cabinet. The windows are painted in weird red. Izayoi, thank you very much. Hi Aki, so happy to see you playing this game. I love the creative visuals and puzzle design of this game. Hope you enjoyed it. P.S. I cried a lot when I played. So good. Oh, so so good luck. Thank you very much. Really cried. Hmm. Interesting. I can't check this out, even if it has like one of those paintings on it. A wooden box on the lecture podium. Oh boy, okay. Uh oh, I'm so bad at these. I am so unbelievably bad at these. Okay. Never mind, I'm a god! I'm a god! I I, I said nothing. I'm, I'm absolutely a god at these. I'm gonna have a victory sip for that. Mmm. I'm not sure what it's for. I'll check my vicinity first. This was a key, right? Maybe I can open this drawer with it? You might just find it might be useful. Uh, let's try the middle one. The drawer is open. It's a box of chalk inside the drawer. Red chalk. The same chalk we've been seeing scribbles in. Let's invert things again. I 
Maybe I'm meant to like keep it like this and then leave. No, it's locked. Maybe I should color some things. It's a pencil sharpener on the table with a white piece of paper on it. Red chalk powder. I hated that sound, by the way. That sound was awful. Let's invert the image. And now let's blush these guys up a bit. Yes. More sound effects I've heard in RPG Maker games. I saw you. I should make her sit at the back of the classroom. Otherwise, the new teacher will be pissed when she sees her zoning out all day. If you send her to the back, her grandpa will come and cause a scene in the school. Great. I will let Tian Xiang Dong know that his granddaughter didn't what his granddaughter did in class. Look at all the doodles on her exercise book. The little tadpoles swam happily when they saw Mother Tortoise. Hmm. She will never achieve anything like this. Tian Fang Fang? Do you remember me? I visited your school for an interview half a year ago. You welcomed me back then. I will be teaching here tomorrow onwards. Miss Chen? Yeah. You should go home. It's late. I didn't pay attention in class, so my punishment is to copy the text. <laughs> Fang Fang, let me show you something. Close your eyes first, and then open them when I tell you to. Mm-hmm. Oh, what she foldin'. Fang Fang, you can open your eyes now. E-S-W-N. Fang Fang, have you played, th played this before? Oh, it's North, West, South, and East. Wait, no, that doesn't work. Never mind. Uh, I, I have, I played it. Okay, I drew faces on all... On every side and side. So if you could pick us the side with the smiling face, you're free to go. How does that sound? Choose, choose the direction first. Uh, let's do east. Think of a number. Four. Okay, let me see what it is. It's a smiling face. Stop copying and go home, Fang Fang. But, Miss Shu Zhu Zhu told me to do it. Don't worry, I'll be your Chinese literature teacher tomorrow. I have the final say. Mm hmm. Oh, it's pronounced she? Okay, thank you very much. Miss Chen, can you teach me how to make this? It looks like a star when it's opened. It's beautiful. A star? That's a very interesting al analogy. I like it. I'll teach you. First, fold it up like this. 
Then fold like this. The last step is to open it up. Like this. Now you try, Fang Fang. First do this. Then do this. And finally... Miss Chen, I've got it! You learn fast. Let's fold more. Oh, that's sweet. I folded a lot of stars with Miss Chen. I love Miss Chen. I will study hard because Miss Chen told me. Oh. Mm. That every word I write on my exercise book. Will sprout and grow into a flower field. Aww. Oh, a car. He sit. Fang Fang, why do you come home so late today? A new Chinese literature teacher in school taught me origami. What does that teacher look like? Mm, she's different from the other teachers. And she's as pretty as mom. Seems like you like your new teacher very much. You should study hard since she's going to teach you. I will. The food is ready. Wash your hands and call your grandparents over to eat. I'm still trying to piece together exactly what's going on here. There seems to be multiple, like, narratives ha happening at once. Like, or, not multiple narratives, but, like, multiple story threads. Like, there's the story with Fang Fang and the teacher, Miss Chen. There's the story about the doctor supposedly having killed, like, somebody's son. There's also the story about them being in debt. Or, like, not, not having a, mon a lot of money. Maybe, maybe it's because my brain is not running at full capacity. I'm having a hard time, like... Digesting this. Okay. There are several steaming dishes on the table. You went to visit the witch today. What did she say? I thought you didn't believe in these. Miss Zhang summoned Yu's soul. Yu said that he was doing good, so we didn't have to worry about him. He also asked us to take good care of Fang Fang. 
anyone can say this kind of cliche. You old fart, did you know you also asked me to send a few words to you? What did he say? He wanted to tell you, Dad, I don't blame you. He also said, Dad, I don't regret being born into the Tian family. He... Did he really say that? You can ask your daughter-in-law if it was real. Hmm. I'm full. I'm going out for a walk. I'm not hungry. I'm going to light some incense for you. Fang Fang, fish is good for your brain, so you should eat more fish. Get an A in your exam and show it to Dad. Fish mom cooked is delicious. But my mom doesn't like fish. And my grandma... I had asked Grandma why Mom can cook fish so well, even though she hates them. Grandma told me it's because my dad and I like fish. Mom loves me and Dad so much that she'll even do things she doesn't like. I asked Grandma if I had to do things I, I didn't like if I loved someone. Grandma didn't answer me. She told me kids shouldn't ask this kind of question. I hate to do this right now because I feel like the story is really going somewhere. But I feel my brain shutting down as we speak. I really wish we could have done this in one stream, but I, I, I don't think I can keep going and re like retain any of the narrative. So I, th I think we'll drop a save here and we'll pick this up as soon as possible because I do want to know what happens next. I don't know how many, how many, does any, can anybody tell me how many chapters there are? Are there, uh, is there only three, four, five? If anybody knows, please do let me know. Oh, eight chapters. Oh, we have a ways to go. Okay. Okay, maybe this is a good place to leave off then. Maybe like around the halfway point. All right. Okay, then, then, then this might not be so bad then. All right. In that case, let's read some super chats and before your boy goes and get some some of that good old rest. Hello. Oh my god, look at how speedy that boy is. It just went <laughs> But I'm liking this so far. This is so so neat. And of course, I must say as I always say, I'm getting Silent Hill vibes. <laughs> But that's any Silent Hill fan ab about anything. It's just like, oh, I'm kind of getting Silent Hill vibes from this. like Because, like, they, they see that stuff everywhere. But I, I genuinely am. And in all the best ways. And thank you all so much for, like, putting up with me stumbling my way through the words. Or stumbling my way through the names. I'm, I'm, I'm trying my best. And I'm trying to be as consistent as I can, but like, you can probably see sometimes when I'm reading a sentence and the moment there's a name, I stop and I buffer for a bit before I say the name. But hey, I'm trying my best. That's all you can do in this life, really. You can try your best, and that's all anybody can ask for you. Let's read some super chats before I go and pass out. I'm, I'm very, very tired. Let's see here. Uh, one, two, five, pon pon san. Thank you very much. Uh, Elgar, thank you very much. Do you ever feel like a plastic bag? Inja, thank you very much for the mwe. Uh, Haruka san, arigatou gozaimasu. Konbanwa, Aiku kun ga yan ho wo play shite kurete honto ni uresii desu. Excuse me. Uh, Shinkoku na story desu kido, totte mo ii game desu. Oh. いいじゃん。アイクくんも楽しんでほしいです。今日もじゃなくて今日の日本も寒いです。頑張ります。日本も寒いですか。そっか。
I guess it's a whole world that's freezing up right now. Let's see. Uh, Peter Pablo, thank you very much. I legit thought you were gonna sing. sing. Firework is a hard song to sing. I don't, I don't really know if I could sing it. Like, heck. JonTron did a pretty good uh, cover of Firework. He, he really belted out those notes. I don't really know if I can measure up to that. Hana the Quillcopter, thank you very much. I thought there was a Katy Perry cover until I remembered that it was the game's title. Miss you, Aiki. Uh, been vodgang these pa uh, past days due to busy with work. All, all good. Understandable. It's nice to catch your live stream again. Thank you very much for stopping by. Nene-san, arigatouzaimasu. Aiki, oh, hisashiburi, hisashiburi. Thank you for playing this game. Although it has some cultural elements that may be difficult to understand, the storyline is still excellent. Hope to enjoy it. Thank you very much. I think I'm able to understand the cultural elements for the most part. And the things that I don't understand, I can sort of assume or infer. For example, I know nothing about how uh, like funerals usually go in other parts of the world. But when I'm seeing it in front of me, I'm just kind of like, oh, so that's how they do these things. So if anything, it's kind of a learning experience when you think about it. Let's see. Just in it. Thank you very much. Uh, I am Carlin. Thank you very much. Uh, Put pudding. Thank you very much. Mandarin is hard, even though I'm Chinese. <laughs> I can't. I I have nothing but respect for people that uh, speak this language because it is it is tricky. It is very very tricky. But I'm trying my best. So anybody that holds any level of proficiency in this language, I salute you. You you you're the big brain here. Kinyako san, arigatou gozaimasu. Aiki, ganbatte. Ito tsuzuki. Tanya Lee, thank you very much. No Google Sensei to support this time. I guess not. I just did it off the cuff and uh, sink or swim, baby. Let's see. Ansel Nyo, thank you very much. Midori san, thank you very much. Brainy, thank you very much. Izayoi, thank you very much. Ukano, thank you very much. I like th uh, the content of this game is really great. I hope that you can enjoy the process of this game. I'm happy that Super Chat was released for this game. Thank you very much. Yes, and Super Chats were available this time around. Super Chats were not available the other uh, the other day, but uh, this time, they they're uh, they're they're all Gucci. Nisha, thank you very much. Otsuaiki on the pronunciation so far. <laughs> I like that this instead of this being a proper like. Uh, like playthrough or stream, it was just like, hmm, how many names can Aiki get right? <laughs> uh, it's my birthday today, and I just wanted to say I'm so grateful to be able to find you and the Quildren this year. Your genkiness is so contagious that it always manages to brighten up my day. Okay, that is a compliment that makes me very, very happy. If my genkiness or pers or lack thereof today, maybe, I don't know if I qualify as genki today because of how tired, <laughs> tired ya boy is. But if, it, if it's infectious, then I am nothing but happy. Thank you very much, and happy birthday. I hope you have a wonderful time. Thank you so much. Hey, Tong Tong Joy, thank you very much. Papa Aiki, we enjoy the stream. Rest well. Thank you. Uh, Shin and Hua, thank you very much. Hopefully I read that right. Yahoo Aiki, I just graduated from college today. So I'm sending my first super as a celebration. And I sort of immort immortalized your Delulu with Miku quote on stage. <laughs> Sweat. You're welcome. Thank you very much. And what? What kind of Miku quote are we talking about here? I'm a little bit confused, but also very intrigued. Hmm. <laughs> and also, congrats. Jesus. Congrats on graduating. Holy crap. That's awesome. Otsu on the... Otsu on the coleg. Rova, thank you very much. Aoi, thank you very much. Samui Nanoni, Haisin, Arigato, thank you very much. It's okay. Once I actually get to streaming, then my booth warms up a little bit and it's not as cold anymore. Carlin, thank you very much again. Otsaiki, I'm surprised to see you playing this game. It makes me want to recommend another uh, horror game called Detention. Uh, guess you'll like it. I have heard of Detention, but I've never played it. Thank you very much. Uh, Yukiko, thank you very much. Thank you for streaming today, Aiki. Do you know who my, uh, is my Kamiyoshi? He has beautiful uh, eyes and a wonderful smile, and he's watching us now. Yes, you are right. My Kamiyoshi is Muekun. Aw. <laughs> yeah, he's been he's been watching over us the entire time with a pinned comment. 
Thank you very much for the super chat. Kawane, uh, thank you very much. Otsaiki. I missed the first hour or so. I'll be rewatching the VOD for the full context. And it's okay. Mandarin is hard even as a Chinese person myself. Language struggles. Everybody can just like <laughs> shake hands on that one. Melinda Lin, thank you very much. Hi, Aiki. The Pilot Collab merch just hit store shelves in my country these days. I would like to tell you that the Quildren on the Ike Pen are described as clouds with horns by clerks. Is that what they're calling and calling it now? Well, it's not a cloud. It's a floof with a feather. So there. Take it from the horse's mouth. <laughs> Flower, thank you very much. Hi, Aiki. I think the game Firework is a bit scary. I was scared in the same places as you. I also really like when you speak Chinese. Love you. Thank you very much. I, I'm trying my best. I'm trying and failing, but hey, if if it's funny or leaves leaves you with a good laugh, then I think it's okay. Let's see. Yoko, thank you very much. I felt uh, hard when you, when you tried pronouncing the Mandarin in this game. I'm good at Cantonese, but not Mandarin. Sleep well and good mwe night. Thank you very much. Everybody is just struggling with the languages today. But hey, whatever language you might uh, you might struggle with, someone else m might be able to teach you something about. For example, there are plenty of languages I struggle with, but you guys can teach me. Or if you're struggling with Swedish, I can teach you that. Mm. And that, my friends, is the beauty of a language exchange. Let's see, Mi Iyo-san, thank you very much. Kichi wa ego. Nashi wa nihongo. Question. Apple wa nani go? Ringo desho. Kotae wa ringo des. A little joke for our boy. Firework wa suwarashi game da ne. Kyo mo otsukare sama deshita. Tsugi mo o tanoshimi des. Arigatou gozaimasu. Ah, ii jodan deshita ne. Sore. Oshiete kurete arigatou gozaimasu. Soshite. Do I do I know anybody named Rin? Like oh, like what what if uh, like Rin and Len, you know the Vocaloids are talking to each other, and then Len understands nothing of what Dean is saying, so he just goes, ah, oh, she's speaking Dingo, <laughs> she's speaking the Rin language, Dingo. I feel, I feel like uh, I've had my moments of of uh, Ike language as well, where I just go say say something absolutely ridiculous, and everybody's like, "What did he say?" That's a funny pun, yeah, a punny a punny pun, if you will. Ike go. <laughs> what what would be an example of Ike go? You lose use a lot of metaphors, but it's charming. <laughs> I've been told that. I use a lot of metaphors, idioms, and like sayings. Chokirakuso. To <laughs> so, yeah, I guess Chokirakuso would be Aikugo. So, we, we have that. Chokirakuso, absolutely. Enslaved moisture. Yeah, that's definitely me. It's ya boy. Okay, there's plenty of people that says it's ya boy. Otera. Uh. Yes, that counts. Uh. <laughs> Lydia, thank you very much. The most terrifying thing. The pronunciation of a name. You don't understand. It gets very embarrassing when you get the pronunciation wrong. For basically anything. Case in point, Otera. It's very embarrassing when you get something wrong like that. <laughs> oh, my oh me. Or, for, or another example, like back when... When you're just learning English over here in Sweden, then you usually learn that you can, if you Englishify certain words, it kind of works. For example, uh, what, what, what's a... What's a good example? For like, shoe. Like a shoe that you put on your feet. 
In Swedish, it's sko. Sko, shoe, sounds kind of similar. Uh, what's another example? Uh, you can... Uh, you can take... Uh, program. In Swedish, program. Uh, another one. Or uh, like a... Uh, like, uh, football. Football. Pretty much the same thing. Coffee. Café. See, it sounds the same. But then other times, it doesn't work out so well. For example, if you try to take the Swedish word for speed and Englishify it, it comes out at something entirely different. And uh, if you say that to somebody, they will most likely laugh at you. Yeah, see, <laughs> you guys are very mature and remember exactly what I'm talking about. <laughs> Good to know that we're all... <laughs> all have the collective humor of a 10-year-old. Love that for us. <laughs> Vivian, thank you very much. Thank you for playing the game. You may be confused about the whole story for now. A little bit. Thank you. Please don't be mad at me. I'm, I'm a slow boy at the moment. I'm a little bit confused. But I'm sure you'll figure it out in later chapters. It's an impressive story. Hope you can have a good rest. Thank you very much. Yeah. I feel like when I'm properly rested, have a clear head... And I'll be able to put the pieces together a little bit better. Ayami, thank you very much for the 10 gifted. That's so kind of you. And Murabito B also gave 5 gifted, I noticed. Thank you so, so much. That's so generous of you. Okay. Now I'm gonna go and have a little bit of a snack to eat. And after that, I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna pass out. And see if I can turn my sleeping schedule back the right way around. Thank you all so much for coming, and uh, hopefully we'll ch we'll finish this game very, very near in the future. Probably at the beginning of next week or something along those lines. And uh, I will see you guys in the next stream. I hope that I'm a lot more energetic and not as walking corpse-like <laughs> as I was this time around. So sorry, very sorry about that. But I still was like, you know, no, I keep pull through, deliver a stream, they're waiting for you. Try try and make some people's day a little bit better. So here here's your boy. <laughs> okay, I'll see you guys around. Thank you all so much for coming, and I hope you have a wonderful time. Bye bye. Whee!